Hi, my name is Maya and I am an intern here at UMatter. We are an outreach program at the Chico State Counseling Center. Our goal is to raise awareness of mental health, reduce the stigma surrounding it, to increase help-seeking behavior, and increase student intervention. This semester, our group hosts Suicide Prevention Week. This is where we host events to bring awareness to the resources available to students if they are a friend or struggling with their mental health. The first event was actually an event on Saturday for the whole town. The Out of the Darkness Walk is a national event put on by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. It is an event where different organizations on and off campus that Chico has in relation to mental health can come and show what resources are available. Some of the groups that showed up were Stonewall Alliance, Youth for Change, Safe Place, and many more. The American Foundation of Suicide Prevention is the leader in the fight against suicide. They also fund research, advocate, create educational programs, and support survivors of suicide loss. They hold the walk every year in order to join thousands who understand the impact suicide and mental health has on so many people. They also want to start a conversation, raise needed funds for suicide prevention, and try and stop the tragic loss of lives we lose every year. As in 2017, we lost over 47,000 people to suicide. At the event, there was also a station to pick up different colored beads. Each bead necklace represents something different, as you can see in the picture. This is to let people know that they are not alone if they have lost someone to suicide or if they themselves are going through something. The last part of the event was in honor of the people we have lost to suicide. Everyone stands in a circle and takes a few minutes of silence. While listening to the song 1-800-273-8255 by Logic to remember those we have lost. We came to the walk to promote our organization and the resources the counseling center has to offer. Not only that, but we had our before I die wall where people can write different things they want to do or achieve in their lives. We also did the Before I Die Wall as our first event on campus to start off the week. This has always been people's favorite event we put on, as most of the time we run out of room on our board. People write all sorts of things on the wall, from wanting to take a dance class to graduating college to traveling to a dream location. It's great to see what everyone wants to accomplish in life. On Tuesday, we had our fortunate cookies. These were fortune cookies with different personalized messages in them. Our goal here was to let every student on this campus know that they are not alone and that people care for them. People thought our personalized cookies were great, but the favorite part is always our cute buttons, as we had special ones for this day. On Wednesday, we had our fact or fiction game. It was a wheel with numbers on it, and the number corresponds to a statement about suicide, which they must figure out if it is true or false. We had prizes like buttons and distress kits. We wanted to do this event in order to disprove myths and let people know the facts about suicide. For example, like how suicide is the 10th leading killer in the United States. While it's a tough topic, people were interested in all the facts we had, and many people were surprised with the answers. For example, it is in fact false that more people are depressed in the winter. It is actually in the spring, but people aren't sure why of this. This stumped many people, including me. Our last day was the activity, the one where we connect, a friends themed setting where people can come and discuss the importance of connections, especially in connection with mental health. While people really liked our friends themed setup, not as many people came up as it is hard for many people to have conversations about these topics. But we did have some great conversations with the people who did come up and chat. Again, people's favorite thing was that we had specialized buttons for this day as well. Overall, Suicide Prevention Week was very successful, and we thank all those who came out to our events. Remember, if you or a friend is struggling, you can find help for yourself and them at the Student Counseling Center, which is located on the fourth floor of the Student Service Center in room 430. The office can be reached Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 530-898-634 to make an appointment, and it is free and confidential. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, as well as our podcast on SoundCloud. Also, if you want to become a UMatter intern, check out our applications online. They're due November 15th.